Hey guys, Ross here from Consolidata. I'm excited to bring to you our new tool, the Google My Business ranking tool. Uh, I'm sure you know how these things work basically. And this is just like a, a thumbnail view. So please don't worry about like this page right here, how this looks. You'll see what it actually looks like in a minute. But what this is essentially doing is it's going to these different coordinates, these different locations, and it's basically saying, where does this business rank on Google My Business in this area? So you can see this one ranks number one, and then you can actually see the competitor rankings right below it, you know, if you click on those actual things. And what that does, the way businesses use this, is they can now then um, work on increasing their ranks in these different areas. For instance, I'll go ahead and click on this, and uh, they can increase work on increasing their ranks in these different areas, and that's going to help them to get more calls, to get more clicks, et cetera. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, how do you do that? Well, I am not a fan of teaching things you don't know. And so I'm actually going through programs and trainings and learning how to do this because I'm actually building a local business myself right now. Um, and I'm doing this right here and I'm going to end up teaching as I do it, but I have to first get success and be good at doing it before I'm going to show you guys. And I'm not going to like charge tons of money for something like this. I'm going to give away most everything on just YouTube for free. But anyway, some of you guys are already proficient with Google My Business stuff. And so because of that, you can go ahead and start using this. So let me just go ahead. We're going to go back to this first page. I'll show you how it works. I'll show you there's one little glitch I already know of in that it, you'll see it loads. In my opinion, it's not really a glitch, but I hate how it takes like one and a half seconds for that page to load. Uh, that's because it's pulling up this Google map. What I'm probably going to end up doing is you really do not need these to be live maps. You, you truly don't. And so what I'm probably going to do is have it just take a thumbnail snapshot of the other map and put that in here because it's really just representing this area. So let's go ahead. I'll show you how you can do this and how you know how much the the calls cost, et cetera, and each credit. So I'm going to click on this here. It says create a new business rank. And let's just go ahead and put in a, a business in the area. Um, let's do Sherpers. There's a, a business in um, in Fort Washington called Sherpers. So I'm going to type this in, Sherpers, right here, North Franklin Street. I'm going to put this in. I'm still trying to get them to go ahead and add in the Sherpers, add, have it automatically fill the address because it should. But let's just put Sherpers, Port Washington, this one here. I'm going to go ahead and take this address and put this in right there. That page. Where did I put my page? Here it is. And then I'll put the address. I'm going to do a 9 by 9 just so you know, each grid, uh, each little dot represents run one credit. So if you do like a nine by nine, you're going to use uh, 81 credits plus one or two credits for the actual map itself. So you're looking at about 16 to 18 cents every time the, it refreshes and checks for that word. Now, Sherpers is a um, like a, a sporting goods store. So if I were to type in like kayak kayaks for instance like i'm wanting to buy kayaks that would be uh, a, a keyword that we would maybe look to see you know near me kayaks near me we'll just put, i'm just going to put kayaks here and we will click create and now it's going to create it takes a solid one to two minutes for this to create because it's going and pinging and doing all that good stuff for the data so while that's doing that I'm going to go over to one of these to show you how what it looks like once again from this view just to kind of go through this a little bit more. So because this literally is a brand new ranking, like we've only got one point of data, you're literally just seeing one dot on the screen. But if we go back, let's see if we go over here and click on this where you have multiple points, you can see that it your average rank is what it's going to track. Now, we've only been tracking this one for one or two days. And I'll actually start date and, you know, because they push this live today, it's only counting it to days. So you're not going to see this changing much. But what it's doing is it takes all of your rankings that you have on the grid, turns them into an average, and then you can track that. Now, here's what's cool about that is we have a Google My Business integration coming up over the next week. 
as, as soon as built, as soon as Google approves our API connection. And then you'll be able to track on like an area chart. Here's my average rank and overlay that with as our average rank goes up, our average calls go up, our average messages go up. And then if you're tracking through go high level, then you can have and show here's all the sales that came from Google My Business. And that's going to allow you to claim your results better. Over here, you can see business name, the keyword that you're tracking. Now, here's another question. Some people are going to ask, how many keywords can you track per map? Well, you can right now you can only track one per map. And then we're going to have a drop down. And that drop down will allow you to track multiple. But obviously, it just takes up more credits. Um, that's coming. This is just our MVP. So please don't get in here and be like, well, you know, local Falcon, local Viking have this. I think we've already got like 85 to 90% of what they have. And we're just coming out of the gate, but we also have so much that they don't. We have the go high level integration. You can add this to your go high level dashboard. You can merge data with uh, go high level data. You can do so much more with the data on this platform. So we're going to go back over here to our uh, business rank page, let it spin. You can see Sherpers has pulled up and it looks like they rank number one for kayaks in that area, which is pretty great. So that's cool. So now I'm going to show you how you can put this into a dashboard. By the way, every time it checks, so like if you do a frequency of every week, every time that goes, it's going to use those credits. So um, it's 0 0.002 cents per credit right now. and so. You know, if you were to put, say, 100 bucks in, you're looking at right now we're actually running through this weekend only a promo. If you're watching this after July 21st uh, or the weekend of July 21st, please don't come back saying I heard of a promo um, where it's 55,000 credits. So you get a ton of credits for that. OK, so let's look at how do you put this into a dashboard? Um, let's go ahead and just take a random dashboard. So I'm going to take this one here. And you see, I have this blank spot right here, and I've actually already chosen the widget business ranking, which you can see right here, and you just drag it over. Once you have it, you're going to want to make sure the section's kind of tall because these are squares, and so you want it to look normal. I'm going to click on this little gear wheel here, and then when I click on widgets, it's going to just do a quick search of the businesses. You might have seen those three little dots. So now when I pull this up, I can go here and put Sherpers. And now it's going to load this. Now, here's what you can do. You can change your zoom level right here. So that way, every time it opens, it's always at the same level. So I'm going to play with this just to see what, we, what I want. Maybe one more. That seems pretty good. And then if I wanted to, I can take this and make it just a little taller. So that way it just looks a little bit more squared. Now you might be thinking, yeah, but the title and all that, that doesn't look good. Let's just change the colors. So we'll go ahead and change this color here to white. Oh, actually I'm in the wrong section. I apologize. Click on this. They might actually not have that part just yet. Okay, so that's something that we need to fix. So in the moment, I'm just gonna make this background white so that way we can actually see it over the black um, like I said, we'll be making little tweaks this week. So what you're looking at here is you can see the last time that this date was uh, that there was a snapshot on this date, and it's going to fall within the time frame up here. So if you choose uh, a week ago and there was a snapshot a week ago, it's going to use that image from a week ago. So it's pulling the dates that way. One thing we're working on, just so you guys know, is there's going to be a little scroll bar, and you're going to be able to fade it. So like if you're looking at July 1st through July 30th, you'll be able to scroll it and see it changing. Also, we're going to be making it where you can add this as a data source so that way you can actually put number charts next to it to put some of these number or stats into a number chart for you as well, which is going to be pretty darn awesome for you to be able to have that on there as well. So, um then you can just take this, put this into your Google account or your Go High Level account as normal. And now your customers get to see what you're doing and how you're helping them rank for certain keywords, et cetera. So, guys, I really hope you love this. We are not done. We are going to be continually adding on to this and making this better. Um, our Google My Business integration and more organic integrations are just around the corner. And then we're going 
knees deep into our um, print tracking integration, which does like what Hyros does. Okay, guys, keep on keeping on. Have an awesome evening. Hopefully you love this tool. If you're not using it, oh, I should have said this. What if you don't have credits? What do you do? Go down here, click into the chat, and uh, you'll want to request a human. Just say, hey, I'd like to request credits. They're going to send you a, a link, and, and it's going to be where you can buy the credits. And then when you buy the credits and add them in, we will put them up there for you for like the next week. It's going to be manual. After that, it'll all be automated. But we just got to get through this week and let you guys start using it and breaking stuff so that way we can rock and roll. Okay, keep on keeping on. Have a great day.